Linear blending skinning is popular for its very high performance, but is prone to well-known artifacts such as the loss of volume. In addition, geometric skinning does not generate contact when a joint bends, but rather a smooth fold followed by self-intersections. Dual Caternian skinning improves volume preservation, but bulges the shape at joints, does not generate contact and is also prone to self-intersections. In practice, we would like a skinning technique to generate contact when joints bend and preserve the rigid appearance of articulated bodies in a plausible manner, as shown in the video. Our implicit skinning technique, computed in real time, enables interactive deformation while improving the realism of the results over real-time state-of-the-art approaches. We start with standard inputs, the mesh and its animation skeleton, the skinning weights, and the mesh partitions with respect to the skeleton bones. We pre-compute a field function whose 0.5 ISO surface approximates the mesh part associated with each bone. They are combined with implicit composition operators to define an implicit surface approximating the whole mesh. During the animation, the mesh is deformed with geometric skinning while the field functions are rigidly transformed. The dual quaternion solution is corrected by projecting the mesh vertices on the deformed ISO surface following the field function gradients. Contact is performed in the folds. Our method provides predefined parameters enabling artistic control of the resulting shape. In this example, we first show how the union operator produces a plausible deformation at joints such as elbows or knees. The realism can be enhanced using the predefined gradient-based blending operator that keeps the fold surface farther from the joint for large bending angles and produces a small blend for small angles. Here again, the union operator provides a plausible result. A real finger joint generates a fold and contacts surrounded by organic bulges. This effect can be reproduced using the predefined gradient-based bulging contact operator. While the automatic settings provided with our method allow us to generate our results, it can happen that a complicated joint is inadequately partitioned. A user interaction is then required to add or remove vertices from the set reconstructing the field functions. This is done with interactive feedback in our system. We provide a set of preset parameters. These parameters have been set intuitively using the interactive feedback provided by our system when their values are modified. Here we show the interactive preset of the Bulgin Contact Composition Operator. We now demonstrate the robustness of our method when animating various characters. The armadillo model is composed of more than 170,000 vertices. The mesh is highly detailed and the joints have features that make them very challenging to skin in an acceptable manner. The knee is animated and skinned with our method at 36 frames per second. At extreme posture, dual quaternions produce deep self-intersections, while our method generates the contacts and preserves details. We now present several models with complete animations skinned with our method. The number of bones and vertices of the models, as well as the average frame rates, are given at the beginning of each animation. Each animation includes a comparison between our method, linear blending, and dual quaternions.